Political parties are targeting young people ahead of the European elections. Many populist or far-right parties hope that they will join their elders in rejecting traditional parties. I think that young people, they look at the future and the future looks grim for them. How can they have trust in the European Commission? How can they have trust in these traditional parties, the Christian Democrats, the Social Democrats, the Liberal Democrats, who have been governing us for decades and who has brought us into this mess of uncontrolled borders, of mass migration, of insecurity, of Islamic terrorism? To do this, the European far right is targeting young people on social networks, including the Chinese platform TikTok. In Belgium, the Vlaams Belang posts frequently on social networks and spends huge sums on trying to attract young voters. Italy's Matteo Salvini, Portugal's André Ventura and France's Jordan Bardella regularly publish short videos, a format popular among a youth sometimes described as disillusioned with politics. Je pense qu'il y a quand même un, un, des, un des intérêt euh, partiel de, de la jeunesse parce que on se dit bah c'est les politiques qui sont en haut, euh, c'est des, des, des hommes euh, avec leur costard cravate euh, qui, qui sont dans leur euh, grosse berline, qui vont pas nous écouter et du coup on se sent un peu désintéressé, on, on se dit de euh, ah bah, toute façon quoi qu'on fasse ça changera rien, ils vont pas nous écouter. Yet the 2019 European elections had seen record turnouts thanks to young people. 62% of all the people polled believe that joining the European Union is beneficial, which rises to 67% if only 18 to 29 year olds are considered. Fighting rising prices, reducing social inequalities and unemployment, supporting economic growth and fighting climate change are priorities for the majority of young people, according to a recent Euronews Ipsos survey.